Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com, PaintballProps.com, and EngineeringShock.com. Uh, sorry for the poor lighting and for the wide shot here. Uh, this is a really large prop uh, and uh, the only way I can show you all of the hardware uh, in the first shot is by placing everything on the floor here. So what this is, is this is a, uh, a laser based prop. What we've got here are three lasers, all separated by a relatively long piece of wire controlled by one controller board which is attached to an AC adapter. Uh, all of these have, are on adjustable mounts and uh, here's the mounting hardware for each of the three laser mounts. This is a 12 volt linear actuator. This here I get right here is the linear actuator power supply which is connected to the main controller board. The main controller board is connected to three sensor boards. The light sensor is right in the middle of each board. It'll be very difficult for you to see but I'll uh, offer a close-up in a minute. This is a wireless transmitter to wirelessly control the state of the uh, linear actuator. This is the uh, main board controller right there. Uh, sorry, AC adapter which powers the main board. And this is the uh, uh, reset key which plugs into the main board. It, it's mountable, it has a mounting nut and can be removed uh, for mounting and plugged right back into the board easily. So, let me give you a demonstration. So when I power up, you'll notice that the lasers all turn on. Uh, might be a little bit difficult for you to see. Uh, in a, uh, with a, a steam, mist, smoke, dust, you can actually see the laser beams. You can't see them uh, in this light, but you can see that the lasers are on. Again, they're powered by one AC adapter. and these lasers can be bounced off adjustable swivel mirrors um, or they can be aimed directly at the uh, the three sensor boards and what I'll do is for the sake of making this demonstration a little bit simpler I'll put all of the sensor boards right close to each other and I'll use the flashlight on my phone which is blinding to activate the prop. Now on power up um, the wireless transmitter that's the only time you'd use it you can use it to manually extend or pull the uh, the plunger back all the way if say a uh, power outage happened and and uh, it was in the wrong state. The main power up state is with the the, uh, the plunger fully uh, um, pulled in. So what happens is is when I when all of those lasers are lined up on the three sensor boards, the actuator extends all the way out, and that will uh, act to open a uh, acts to open a, a drawer or uh, a door however you want to use this prop. The actuator comes with mounting hardware but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video now, I'm going to ready my phone, I'm going to show you what happens on power up and how this actually works. As you can see I've put the laser boards together, I've got my flashlight on and so that simulates all of the lasers touching the three different sensor boards. And the sensor boards can be relatively far away from each other. I've got my actuator on top of a, a solder reel right now just to hold it up. But as you can see, it's slowly opening. There are limit switches inside the uh, actuator to stop it. But the program on the main board only turns, the, turns it on and pulls it in for a certain amount of time to save power. Not that that's, a real, not that that's really important, but it's a, a nice to have and uh, it certainly helps with the voltage regulation on the main board uh, re I mean relative to stressing it so now the only way to pull back the wireless um, transmitter doesn't do anything at this point the only way to reset the game is to turn the key now you can turn the key back at this point it doesn't matter I'm gonna leave it turned just to show you that there's uh, um, a reminder on the main board, if you leave it turned uh, after it's fully uh, pulled back in what happens is is the red and the um, green LEDs on the main board flash until the key is in the left original default state. So it's a very very simple prop relative to how it operates. It comes fully assembled uh, in this form of, upon purchase. I'll place the link below when I have it listed at escaperoomelectronics.com. So now it's reset there's a reminder. The red and green uh, LEDs, you won't be able to see it, but on the main board they, they say 
Red is backward, green is forward. Turn the key back to the default state. So again, at this point, I can uh, I can uh, use the transmitter to extend or pull back. Uh, I believe A is forward. Nope, that is pulled back. So now the, uh, the unit is, is essentially telling the actuator to pull back, but the uh, limit switches are stopping it. No harm done. Uh, it just takes about 30 seconds for that to uh, end. Now to, uh, what I can do is just reset, power off, power back on, and I can press uh, B on power up when, when the device has reset. So this is just kind of a nice to have. It's not really, it's not really, it's just kind of a just in case, just in case the uh, power, uh, pow there's a power issue during the game, pow uh, power outage, and the plunger is in a weird state on power up. That's where the, the wireless transmitter comes into play. So let me show you the uh, the lasers before I end this video. Uh, the, really the rest is up to you. I design the electronics, you make it your own. Uh, so now let me just show you the lasers. Uh, I'll give you an idea of how they work and then I'll end the video. The AC adapter to the lasers powers one regulator board which feeds power directly to three different lasers in parallel. The wires going to the regulator board to each laser is about uh, half a meter long and uh, as you can see these are on uh, adjustable mounts. It comes with a, uh, an allen key which allows for you to uh, fully control where the laser is at and if you notice right in the top it will be difficult for you to see. Well, watch the laser beam itself. You can focus it and you can unfocus it. Now unfocusing it means that it's, tr it's essentially transmitting a lesser, uh, a less, uh, the, the power of the laser is essentially uh, dull but the beam is thicker. So if you're having trouble lining up with your sensor you can uh, unfocus the laser if you like. But if you're aiming this at a wall, it's very easy to focus or unfocus. You aim it at the wall, and then you just gently turn the head to get your desired focus. So all the lasers are on right now, and I can use a little switch on the board to turn it off, turn them all off. It's, not, it's a regulated 3-volt circuitry. It won't hurt you. Even the input 9 volts won't hurt you. So it's a very, very simple prop. Uh, works great. Comes fully assembled right out of the box, you determine how you want to use it. This can be found at escaperoomelectronics.com. I'll also be putting it up at um, paintballprops.com. And uh, as always, check us out at engineeringshock.com for all other interesting gadgets. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great weekend.